This one to it up, D Prime 2 and 5 here. So, this is my prediction for New Japan Pro Wrestling's uh, Wrestle Kingdom 14. Who is going to walk out as the double champion? Who's walking out with both the IWGP Heavyweight Championship and the IWGP Intercontinental Championship? Now, I didn't do a prediction video for each match because they happen back to back, and the overall, the big thing is whoever walks out with both belts. So, I'm just going to combine both into one video, so to speak. Right? So, I had pretty much two predictions for this, and here's why, right? One, uh, I'm, I don't think Okada's winning, right? Okada, for whatever reason, it seems like they're keeping him away from every belt that is not the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Um, Okada has not competed for anything that wasn't that championship, so him walking out with both belts makes absolutely no sense to me. I think he, I think he would make fine being an Intercontinental Champion, but I don't know if... They have plans for him to do that, so I don't see Okada walking out. He's definitely not walking out with anything at Wrestle Kingdom 14. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't know everything, but I don't think he's walking out, right? I think most likely here's what's going to happen. It's either going to be Tetsuya Naito because this is the only chance New Japan has to correct the wrong of not giving Naito the belt back of Wrestle Kingdom 12. He should have beat Okada there. They missed it. So this is the last chance uh, New Japan has to make right with Naito. I don't know if they will or not, but this would be the ideal moment for Naito to not only walk away from Wrestle Kingdom with the heavyweight championship, but to walk out as a double champion with, along with the uh, Intercontinental Championship, which is something that he's mentioned that he's wanted to do for a little while now. So I think it would be great for him to do it since he more or less no pun intended, champion this idea, so to speak, right? Boom. And also, number two, who's most likely to win would be Jay White. Now, when you look at it, Jay White's trajectory, like, he has been pushed heavily, but also something you have to realize, too. Every time Jay White champion challenged for a championship, right, a single championship in New Japan, what happened? He won. First time for the United States Championship, he beat Kenny Omega. First time for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, he beat Hiroshi Tanahashi. First time for the IWGP Intercontinental Championship, he beat Tetsuya Naito. So when you think about it, Jay White is pretty likely to walk away with the belts. You know, anytime he challenges for the first of something, he tends to win. So um, that's pretty interesting there. Um, I don't think Kota Ibushi is going to win either night because... The reasoning for it is like, if Kota beats Okada, right, whoever he wrestles, he's already wrestled multiple times recently, right? Um, he has like a story rivalry with uh, Tetsuya Naito. They wrestled each other a bunch of times already. Um, Jay White, they just wrestled back at the uh, G1 Climax. So I don't, think, I don't think it makes a lot of sense for Ibushi to wrestle either one of them so soon. Um, and also, I don't think Ibushi is going to beat Okada. It just, I mean, this might be Ibushi's time to beat him, but I don't know if it would make sense for him to hold the belt for barely 24 hours, right? So, um, I mean, I expect Okada to retain against Ibushi, but Okada is definitely losing the belt on the second night, most likely to Tetsuya Naito, if not um, Jay White. So... That's my prediction. Um, I'm ultimately looking at Tetsuya Naito. That's who I'm pulling for to walk away with both belts. If not him, it's going to be Jay White. Definitely not Okada. He's ruled out. Definitely not Okada. Definitely not Kota Ibushi. I could definitely be wrong because this is a prediction video, right? This hasn't happened yet. But once again, I'm looking at Naito and I'm looking at Jay White. Um, who are you looking at? You know, you got four people. So who, who do you think is walking out with both belts? Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to me at dprime215. Till next time. Peace.